Hello, and welcome to Ask Robert. Today, we're looking at four paintings Robert did in his early 20s. Mark asked, do you think you would have been successful if you kept painting in the Impressionist style? Robert answered, success is a loaded and dubious word. Some people judge success by sales. Some terrible and corny artists sell well. I judge success of each painting by whether it's fresh and has a ring of truth. I'm not sure that I have ever completely achieved it, but it is a worthy goal. The group of seven were quite successful in sales, but Tom Thompson was less so during his short lifetime. He needed a day job at Commercial Art Company in Toronto. Wildlife art was out of the mainstream of art during the 20th century, and maybe still is. My career blossomed during the beginning of the boom in environmental consciousness in the 1960s. That was the time of the start of the Sierra Club, the Audubon Society, and countless other similar organizations. It was after a post-World War I baby boom with lots of new houses with empty walls. Elsie asked, why did you leave Impressionism and paint in the realist style? Robert answered, I left Impressionism and Abstract Expressionism because identifying nature involves particularity. Big gobs of paint does not really describe the difference between the bark of a maple and an oak tree.